The Truth Behind the Myth of the Garden of Eden and What It Reveals Introduction, Searching for the Garden of Eden The Garden of Eden is a place that has been written about for centuries, but it has never been found. It is a mythical place that is said to be the beginning of human civilization. The Bible describes it as a paradise on earth with rivers of water and fruit trees. The garden was said to be perfect and without sin, until the moment when the serpent persuaded Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. Many people still believe in this mythological place, but there are also those who think that it doesn't exist at all. They believe that it's just a story created by humans who wanted to find an explanation for life's origins and meaning. The Garden of Eden can be interpreted in many different ways, as an allegory, as an afterlife destination or even as a spiritual state of mind. That is available to all, the Garden of Eden has been interpreted as an allegory for a variety of things throughout history, including, the Garden of Eden has also been seen as an embodiment of paradise, a divine realm, and the end result of human perfection. How old is the myth of the Garden of Eden? The Garden of Eden is a mythical place that was first mentioned in the Bible. The Bible is a collection of holy books written by Jews, Christians, and Muslims. It tells the story of how God created the world and everything in it. In this article, we will explore some of the origins and meanings behind the Garden of Eden myth. As well as some of the functions it has served in Christian theology, about 2,000 years ago, a Jewish man by the name of Ezekiel wrote down a series of visions that he claimed to have about God and the world around him. These visions were then compiled into his book known as, The Book of Ezekiel. Some of these visions are often used to further elaborate on aspects from other scriptures. One such vision was Ezekiel's story about God telling him that he would give Eden to the righteous and to the wicked they would be given a place of suffering. In this vision, God tells Ezekiel that he will place Adam's descendants in two countries, one with, abundance of treasure, that is physically rich and prosperous, while the other country will have, excessive poverty. In another vision, Jeremiah sees God telling him that instead of being judged by what we do on earth to be good or bad, people will be judged based on their thoughts and intentions. This means that the righteous and bad people are judged by their intentions, not necessarily by what they actually do. When we think about doing something good or bad, it's because we have either a positive or negative intention which is revealed in our words and actions. One of the main features of God's character is that He always has good intentions for us. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Where was the Garden of Eden located? The Garden of Eden is a biblical location that is not explicitly described in the Bible. The Bible only states that the Garden of Eden is eastward from the Earth's Garden, which may have been somewhere near Mesopotamia. There are many different interpretations on where the Garden of Eden was located. Some scholars believe it was located in present-day Iraq, while others believe it was located in present-day Iran. The Assyrian Empire was one of the most powerful empires in ancient history. It is recorded that it had an army of up to one million soldiers at its peak and had control over modern-day Iraq, Iran and parts of Turkey and Syria. The empire was founded by a king called Ashurbanipal in the 8th century BC and was ruled by 27 successive kings over the next two centuries. What are some theories on where the garden might have been found? The Garden of Eden is a story in the Bible that has been interpreted in many different ways. Here are some theories on where the garden might have been found. The first theory is that the garden was located in Mesopotamia, which is now known as Iraq. The second theory is that the garden was located in Persia, which is now known as Iran. The third theory is that the garden was located in India, which is now known as Pakistan and India. The fourth theory says that the garden was located in China, which we know today as Tibet. China and Mongolia The fourth theory is the most likely. Theory The fourth theory is the most likely theory.